From Cape Rienga to Bluff, New Zealand has an extensive network of public toilets constructed in even the remotest of places. They say the state of public toilets tells you how civilized a society is. New Zealand goes one step further. They make them into works of art. The whimsical Hundertwasa Toilets Block is located on the main street of the town of Kawakawa. The structure was named after architect Friedensreich Hundertwasser, who designed the project. Built from recycled materials, it includes a live tree growing through the roof. Vegetation removed during construction was replanted on the green roof of the building. Considered an international work of art, the Hundertwasser toilets are the most photographed toilet of New Zealand. My personal favourite though was the one at Paihia. Walking along the beach late at night, Amit and I saw a brightly lit building where the lights were changing colour every few minutes. Intrigued, we watched and wondered what it was. It took us a while to realise we were admiring the public toilets. The quaint decoration of Paihia's wee toilets was charming even in broad daylight. Travelling along the southern scenic route, I was observing this beautiful painting of sheep being sheared when Amit asked me why I was staring at the toilets. While some were artistically decorated, the toilet at Bluff was technologically advanced. It was self-cleaning. And it did a good job. New Zealand toilets were full of personality. Some stood out, demanding attention for their looks or tech. Others blended in, shrinking into the background, barely noticeable unless you needed them. For instance, I probably wouldn't have spared a glance for this toilet at Castle Hill if it hadn't been signposted. There was another unobtrusive clean toilet at the site of Elephant Rocks. Even the board mentioned where the next nearest toilets were. In fact, the only place I didn't spot a toilet was on White Island. Understandable since it is an active volcano after all.